I am gonna be making a puppet theater for my daughter's birthday. She's turning four and she's just really starting to get into pretend and imaginary play, which I just thought this would be perfect. We have this leftover piece of wood from our bunk beds, which we custom made. And I just thought this was the perfect piece to make our puppet theater. So surprisingly, there's not a lot of options to find puppets. So I had to get creative. Um, I'll tell you what I did for my puppets, how I make this and how easy it is, but we're also gonna make it super unique, custom and super cute. While doing some Christmas shopping at Target, I noticed that all of their ornaments were these weird dolls and figurines that were so random. But because I knew I was gonna be making this puppet theater, I kept that in mind as I was searching and I had already been having a really hard time finding puppets. While I was looking for puppet options on Amazon, I found that they had some good hand puppet um, choices that were mostly just animals, but that didn't have enough character and class to me. So I started looking on Etsy and they do have options on there, but they're all handmade and about $20 a piece, which can add up quick if you need multiple characters. So when I found this one, I knew that I hit the jackpot because this is exactly what I was looking for. This brand is Wonder Shop. I found Red Riding Hood. I found Lumberjack. There were so many options. I got about, um, I believe, 16 of them, which I thought was perfect and plenty to make a story, and they were only $3 each. I got this prop at the Target dollar section, and when it came to my fabric, I knew I wanted velvet, but I wasn't exactly sure what color. I was really open to anything. Um, I had really toyed with the idea of red but I kind of was just keeping my eye out for anything that popped out. There's my little helper. And there was plenty of choices, as you can see. This is at Joann's, just kind of any your local craft shop. This is the one I ended up going with, and I absolutely love it. I found this velvet fabric that looks like the night sky. It is gorgeous, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I just picture putting it up, and it's going to come and hang like a theater curtain, kind of hard to envision right now, but once I cut this hole, then we'll be able to hang this up and put some tassels around it. Um, I'm gonna show you all the details of what I use. I'm so excited. I traced out my rectangle opening to cut, and when it came to the plywood that we used, we already had this three quarter of an inch on hand, but you can use any thickness. The thicker it is, the sturdier it will be, and the easier it will stand on its own. So when I trimmed the sides of my plywood, um, I ended up with this really skinny piece, which I am going to use as a shelf. I mean, I need to trim off the end right here, but my idea is to put little holes in just kind of various random spots so that I'm going to trim these sticks down and she'll be able to put one in the hole and kind of keep her place for, you know, the story. So, you know, the magical swan is swimming and there's a painter that comes by and she can move this one but keep this one here. So, um, I also want to make different props like trees or like a mountain and, you know, you can kind of set those up and those can stay and then you can move those along. So, I need to trim this and sand it down and we'll screw some holes in there, drill some holes in there and then um, we'll be ready to paint. I did have a puppet theater growing up that my mom made for me. That's gonna be fun. I just might like it more than she does. It's just fine. I just wanna test out how this looks so far, as far as size goes. So I'm kind of picturing that this will be along the top and hang down on the side, so that's kind of our curtain. This is from, this is from the Dollar Tree that I got at Christmas forever ago. There's little stars on here. Um, I either might just have this go along the top or I'll put the stars on fishing line 
but I'm gonna have stars kind of dangling from the top.